Hi everyone, lots of people ask me, does your vehicle have a rear diff locker? Well, this one does, and I'm gonna show you three ways we can actually check to see whether your vehicle has one. Number one, the first way is actually when you're in the vehicle. Now, most people, they'll actually be able to look on their screen either on the main dash screen or so the main the, the large screen here or on the actual information screen but if you then actually um, put your vehicle into the terrain response for rock crawl that's going to be the one which will actually give you the most um, uh, probability of actually having the rear diff lock engage and now on the screen what you can see is we actually have the two padlocks. Both of these are actually showing green. Now, at this point, it does not mean that your car has a rear diff locker if it's actually showing up. In fact, all of them show up as being a green here. It's only when you actually start to go off-road and you start to lose traction that the vehicle will recognize that it has got a, um, a, a situation when it needs to actually have that additional grip. And you'll then see those padlocks go from being green into red. We show a little clip here where we actually filmed at um, Hawkston Park a little while ago which actually showed that as we went up the hill as it changed from the green into the red. So if your vehicle stays on green in the rear that means you don't have a diff lock. If it goes red you definitely have. The second way you can check to see if you've got a diff locker is to actually get underneath the car. If you have a look inside here we can actually see that um, at the back here it's very difficult to actually see but um, on this car it's also got the rear air conditioning so it makes it extra difficult to see but you can vaguely just about see down there that um, there's some extra um, pieces and you can actually vaguely make out that there's the, um, the solenoid or the motor that actually activates the, the diff lock. We'll also put some pictures in to actually show you which might be easier to see. You can see more clearly on this photo that thing that looks like a starter motor is the actuator for the diff locker. The third and probably the most easy way is to actually go onto a website like uh, VIN Decoder. All you need is to actually have your VIN number off your V5 registration document, pop that into the website and then as you can see here it will give you information about your vehicle. What you're actually looking for, let's actually scroll to the bottom of this, is this little piece down the bottom here where we see the rear axle locking diff 027cc. If it says that on your um, screen, that means that your car's obviously got the diff locker on it on the rear. So that's probably the easiest way. And plus, obviously, if you're buying a car, you can actually ask someone for that VIN number so you can check as well beforehand. Next up in our videos, we're going to be fitting some of this stuff that's in this box. So I've got a couple of things. First thing is I've got a new set of um, Xenon hid uh, lamps to replace the old ones which are in there. I know the old ones, they tend to um, get a little bit... Um, dim and worn out and the car's now approaching what is it it's a 2006 so it's, um, it's actually uh, 16 years old now so those will be going in soon and then more interestingly in the big box let's see what we've got in here got a set of uh, terra firma wheel spacers 30 mil so we're going to be fitting those on and seeing uh, what difference that makes increasing the track hopefully you found that uh, interesting and helpful and please don't forget to like and subscribe we also now have a Facebook page. If you check the uh, link in the description below, you're able to get across there and uh, join up as well. Thanks very much, everyone.